California, United States. Oh, California, United States. So how long have you been to Laos? I've been in Laos for about six and a half months now. Six months? Six, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. so where do you live in Vientiane? In Vientiane. I live um, on Kuvian Road, kind of by Landmark Hotel, uh -huh. by the Mekong River. So, what do you do in Laos? I work for a food and wine a distribution company known as Meg Market Expansion. Going around Bien Chen, going to places like Earth Bar, Salaudi Bar, meeting new people all the time. Even working with the company that I work for, I talk to people in different restaurants and hotels from Ban Bien to Luang Prabang. So. so, I am a grand, new graduation. I want to work, so I don't know uh, any company. Do you know any company is available for me? To work? Yeah, I'm graduate from business administration. I see. Um, you know, I think that with a business degree, you're versatile with any type of job that you can find. So I think one of the best things to do would be to just get a good resume and then go to places that are well known mm -hmm. and apply for a job. Yeah, yeah. it's good. And how many days did you come here to try the morning new year? This is the first time I've actually just got here, maybe like an hour and a half ago, with my coworker. This is uh, Jojo Min. Jojo Min. Jojo Min. And he works um, at Meg with me as well. Uh -huh. So we'll be going to work. So I probably will be contacting some customers at hotels uh -huh. and restaurants and trying to promote our wine and food. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel today? You can enjoy the Hmong New Year here. I'm actually really happy because, you know, in America we have a lot of different cultures that come together and um, some of them have a like traditional ceremony similar to this where you put on certain clothes and you play certain music and do certain events and um, it actually makes me feel like I'm back home because we have stuff like this there too as well. But I'm really excited and happy to be a part of this experience here today. Yes. So that's good. Yeah. So you, there are many, many Hmong people in the United States, right? Um, well, you know, I wouldn't know the count, but we do have a lot of different people. So I'm sure there's a very big Hmong community there as yes. well. I know that there's a small Lao community, yes. but very, uh, very much so it's around the United States. We have a lot of different communities. Yes. Now, grow, growing up very fast in the United States now. Oh, you're saying the population is growing fast. I'm sure, yeah. You know, there's a lot of different populations and a lot of different people. And we're a big melting pot of different cultures. Yes. So I'm sure there's a big community. I, I mean, I could definitely learn a lot more about the Hmong culture. And maybe when I get back to America, I will see a bigger presence of it. But I still have a lot of exploring to do myself. Yeah. So I would say, well, you know, I'm actually a uh, Mexican-American, so I, I know a lot more Spanish, which is our language in, in Mexico, but I don't. So I, I definitely can see what you're saying. There's a Hmong community that may not speak Hmong, but it, I mean, I think it's up to the people, you know, wanting to be a part of that culture and learning the language. I would love to learn Hmong, but maybe I should learn Spanish first. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Then how many languages can you speak up? Just fluently, I can only speak one, and then uh, maybe just a couple words here and there, like two. I can speak a little bit of Spanish. Uh huh. That's good. And a little loud, but that's only like. Yeah, you can so, try it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it easy for you? So you, can, if you want to say like hi in Spanish, say hola, cómo uh -huh. estás, and then um, if you want to do loud, you can just say sabadí. Could you sp uh, say in Hmong, hello? How do you say? It? If you tell me how to say it, I could try. Uh, Nha Zhong. Yes. If a uh, happy new year. Nha Zhong Xiong Chi. Nha Yes, that's great. Okay, yes, that's right cool. Nha Zhong Xiong Chi. Nha Zhong Zhong Chi. Yes. Yeah? That's cool. That's good. Yeah. You yeah, are very wonderful. You're awesome. And your name? My name is uh, Ming. Ming. Yes. Very nice to meet you, Dylan. Uh, nice to meet you, too. <laughs> yeah. And do you have anything to say to the, your friend or yeah. my Hmong people? To the Hmong people, I would say... How do you feel today? I feel very happy and I'm thankful to be a part of this um, event and ceremony and I'm glad that I got to get interviewed by you. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. And to the Hmong people, um, I'm excited to learn more about your culture and maybe when I go back to America, we'll see the, the community of Hmong people there as well. And so thank you so much. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. Where you come from? I'm from Myanmar. Myanmar? Yes. Oh, you are Myanmar? Yes. Um, uh -huh. Have you ever been? 
No, I haven't. I just know. Okay. Yeah. So, how do you feel today? You can enjoy Mong New Year here. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. It's very, awesome. Yeah, it's very pleasure. I I have been three years. Uh, no, no, no. Last two years, I go and visit near the Dongdo. Yeah. Yes. Two years. This year, I came here the first time. For me. Yeah. That's a good uh, time for you. Yeah. To new the, to know the new culture. Yes. A new population. Yes. New relationship. Yes. Of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. And what do you do in Laos? Uh, I'm an IT for the distribution company. Uh huh. Yeah. So how long have you been to Laos? Uh, over four years now. Four years yeah. now. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And uh, go, go, gone to visit some place in Laos. Ah uh, yes, I have been to uh, Long Prabang three times and Vien Viem two times. But I want to go and visit uh, the northern and southern part also. But um, not yet. We can arrive until now. So, but, um, not yet. We can arrive until now. So how was the population and the, the, the lifestyle in Laos and in Myanmar, how different? Could you tell me about that? Lifestyle is yeah, a little bit different, but not so much because we are the, the neighbor country. So food also not so much different. But I like Laos because of your people mindset, so peaceful and you know, and, you know like a um, very, all, all of people are very friendly, so nice, very nice. nice country. But Lao cannot speak Myanmar. How how, how can you understand? Oh, I can speak English. I can communicate with English, and now I can speak Lao a little bit because uh, I learned Lao reading, writing, and speaking. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I come with uh, my Lao teacher. There's. The, the, with the work, pink, pink work together? No, work together. My cousin and she is work together. Uh -huh. But she teach us the Lao language. Uh huh. Yeah. So you can learn. Yes, and I you can speak, speak Lao. A bit. Uh -huh. And about Mong. Yeah, about Mong cannot, cannot. <laughs> cannot speak. Do you think uh, any Mong in Myanmar? Yeah, yeah. We in Myanmar well, also have the, some Mong tribe in Myanmar. So yeah. we, which uh, province or what part of the country? Uh, especially they are in the. The northern part. Northern? northern yeah, northern part. Is uh, near China? Near, yeah, near China. China border. China and Laos border. Yeah. That's I good. arrived in uh, 2014, April. Mm -hmm. be, my, be my time, yeah. Oh, Lao New Year. Yeah, Lao New Year. So, when will you back to Myanmar? Uh, every year I, I went back uh, two weeks, but some, some year I went back February. This year I went back to June. Maybe next year, around in the October, November. How long will you take or uh, the time to relax in uh, your country? Only uh, two weeks, two weeks and then come back. Because uh -huh. I have planned to stay here a long time. Because I'm enjoying here. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.